Since you did a good job, since you did a good job by clicking on this video. <laughs> Like the title says, today's video is going to be a collective haul. I'm sharing some of the goodies that I've picked up for the season. And if you haven't seen part one, make sure to check that out. The tea on this sweater is in that video. Okay. <laughs> after you finish watching this one, of course. If you're new here, my name is Chi Chi and I cover fashion, beauty, and lifestyle. Now, if you love hauls and if you love trying hauls, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, especially because your girl right here is not only trying on these pieces, I'm also styling them for you, okay? So you can get some outfit ideas. So if this all sounds like what your interest is, you found your tribe. Keep on watching. So the next outfit is going to be this gorgeous dress. I had it on in a couple of videos ago and you guys were all asking me about it. So of course, you know, I had to include it in this haul. Y'all, this dress comes in so many different colors. There's like a mustard and um, I believe like a hunter green combination. There's a burgundy and like a fuchsia combination. But I actually also picked up the burgundy fuchsia combination. But between the two, I think I'm going to actually be keeping this one because I just feel, feel like the colors do so much for my complexion. So this actually came out in the spring, I believe this color combination, but I just wanted to show this is a great option for any of the festive things coming up. If you're hosting, the weight on this dress is kind of like medium to light in my opinion. It's not super heavy, so it'll be perfect again if you're someone who gets overheated really easily. Um, it's just an easy dress. It's nice, it's soft. I will say that this, it runs big. I have an extra large on and you guys can't see this, but in the back I had to pin it just so it would give me some shape okay I would say that I would get a large now I think the reason why they cut this this way is because it's supposed to be kind of like a sweater dress slash cardigan situation so if you want to wear it open then it's a cardigan if you want to wear it closed then it's a sweater dress and I think I saw this dress first on Simone Moonlight I think that's what she calls herself on TikTok and I absolutely fell in love with the dress and I went ahead and grabbed her the only thing I'm going to say about this dress is that you will need to wear undergarments with this one and of course you're like girl of course I'm gonna wear you know drawers but I mean you're <laughs> you will need to wear like Spanx or you will need to wear like a slip just because this type of knit in my opinion you know it'll show any panty lines it'll show any like bra straps indentation situations so the only thing I would say about this dress is that whatever you wear underneath needs to be kind of seamless or you need to either wear like another layer maybe some Spanx or maybe a slip because it will show if there are any unsightly lines going on underneath. Like I said, it's quite oversized. I have so much room in this so you can definitely size down in this one. And if you wanted to fit fit real slick, I would say even size down two sizes. I don't like body cons to fit super tight on me just because I feel like it tends to highlight things I don't want it to highlight. So this works for me. I just have her on here with some clear mules but you could also do like brown like cognac colored knee-high boots which I don't own but I do own a pair but I just feel like it's not given what's supposed to have gave with this dress but I was actually interested in getting these boots right here to kind of I think it would have kind of worked for this dress but it was sold out so something like that something brown I think would go really well with a dress like this but I just have her on with some clear mules which works if you're hosting in the house I originally bought this top in the summertime and I knew it came in a cord set but unfortunately the pants were sold out in my size so when I went back on the nasty gal site and I saw these pants I was like okay it's the same color family let's see if it'll work y'all I'm not sure let me know in the comments like if it work what if you think it works or if I need to just hope that they're gonna bring back this top color. Now both pants and top are kind of made out of a almost like vo I don't know like it's kind of like a stiff chiffon fabric. Yeah that's what I'm gonna call it. Both top and bottom are made out of a stiff like chiffon fabric so they're pretty lightweight just bear that in mind I would recommend you layer if you're gonna be out all day in this so the good thing is that both the top and the bottom 
bottom are basically oversized so if you want to layer underneath you definitely can get away with some long johns underneath these pants what I like about them is that not only can you wear them now to all our festive stuff that's coming up but you could also take this on vacation for those of you who have some winter warm weather vacation plans you need this set in your wardrobe the matching top for these pants were on the site but I already had this shirt so I thought I could mix and match I mean I feel like it works because they're both in the same color family this is just more of like a lavender tone and this is more almost like skewing gray or silver and this is more of like a true purple down below my tall girls okay get excited <laughs> get excited okay if you're a tall girl because girl these pants are long enough let me say it again they are long enough y'all know I'm five I'm um, seven I always say I'm a short tall girl and you can wear heels in these y'all I had on like mm, I'll say four inch heels okay and these pants were almost dragging the four so if you were up to like five ten girl you can wear your heels in these pants they won't look like they're high waters. Nasty Gal does it for the tall girl. I don't even know if I talked about these pants because now I'm feeling like I did already. But um, Nasty Gal does it for the tall girls. Another place that does wide leg pants but has great length is going to be um, Pretty Little Thing as well. I have mixed feelings about shopping as Pretty Little Thing, but we're not going to get into that. For me, I find Pretty Little Thing to be very hit or miss, but for everything that I've bought from Nasty Gal, I feel like the quality is consistent. You know, I'm giving it ASOS Zara ish type quality for the pieces so if you've never shopped at nasty gal and you're wondering the prices are pretty comparable to like asos if not even a lot a little bit more affordable and they run big so for my bigger girls 24 26 they run big this is a 18 i believe 18 in pants and as you can see i could have probably definitely gotten down a size in this top and these pants I could have gone down a size if I wanted. I like my wide leg pants though to fit very loose. You know, give that resort like, you know, I'm at Santorini, you know, in Bali. I am in Santorini. I am in Bali. Those type of Tulum, relaxed, elevated resort. That's what I want to channel when I wear wide leg pants. <laughs> yeah, these are my thoughts on these pants. They are thin, you know, so you may want to wear like something in underneath that gives Gives you a little bit more shape and hold but aside from that I would buy these again two times three times let them make them in more colors and I will add them to my closet so I'm pretty sure these will sell out because this is like the third drop on these pants because they keep selling out so if you want yours girl I'm gonna link it for you in the description box down below. So another two piece set. I hope you guys are not sick of me sharing these, but I just feel like they are the closet hack of the moment. You know, if you are in a hurry and you don't know what to wear, you can just throw it on. It acts, you know, kind of like a one and done outfit, but also, you know, you have that versatility, which means on the days you do have time and you do want to put together an interesting look, you can break the set apart and pair the top with something different and pair the skirt with something different. So I feel like it's one of those pieces that really allows you to maximize what you have. And if you're trying to, you know, add some new elements to your wardrobe and you're on a budget the best place to start is with a two-piece set so this two-piece set I picked up from ASOS I believe I'm wearing a size 18 in both the top and the bottom and I would say that it fits pretty true to size if you're interested in my measurement my height all of my stats are in the description box of this video the color and the print is really what drew me to this it's like a burgundy with a little bit of a blue play happening here and it also has like brown within the print. So I'm gonna probably pair it with some brown boots. The fabric feels stretchy, but it's more of like a stretch crepe type fabric versus like a knit, if that makes any sense. As far as comfort level, I would say it's pretty comfortable. To me, it is on the lighter side as far as fabric weight. So, you know, if you're gonna be outside, I would not recommend buying this if you're not planning on 
layering underneath. So if you're gonna wear some Sphinx underneath, you should be fine because that always adds a, a level of warmth. Uh, definitely a jacket over it and you will be fine. But I just wanted to let you know, it's kind of like a mid to lightweight fabric. And but the good thing about it is I feel like you can wear it, I wouldn't say year round, obviously like from June to August, probably no. But from September to about March, I think you can get away with wearing something like this. The skirt has a little slit on one side, which is great, especially if you're gonna be walking around. And then the top, of course, the main detail is going to be on the side of the shoulder right here. It has this little cutout and it's like a faux mock neck. So it adds a little bit of, you know, something to the look, which is why I say it's a great two piece because, you know, if you wanted to pair this with some black jeans or some leather pants or something else, you could because the top I feel stands on its own really well. You could also do like a chunky sweater with the skirt as well and that would work really well. So let me know your thoughts on this two piece. Should I keep her? Should I return her? I'm kind of, I'm on the fence. I'm on the fence to be honest. So let me know in the comments down below. So this is for my girls who are planning some fun in the sun. So nope, this is not very appropriate for this time of year. However, if you have plans in the next couple of months, when I saw this piece, I was like, you know, she got potential. So it's a two piece set. The top has this little crisscross detail. This skirt has this really cute side ruching detail. You could wear them together, separate, you know the deal. The bottoms would be great. You could actually rock it as like a cover up with a bikini if you wanted. The top would also work with like a different pair of shorts or even like a different skirt, etc., etc. So this style of top is super flattering whether you were a busty girl or whether you have you know a smaller chest because it's a deep V okay so it'll give you a little bit of a neck if you are more on the busty side and if you are more petite busted side if that's a thing um, you know the ruching and all that's going on would also help to add a little bit of volume to the area now I'm wearing the top in an 18 I believe again always confirm in the description box down below and I have a room in this I wear a 38 F sometimes a 40F really depends. And there is a lot of fabric left in this thing, okay? But I believe this is my right size just because the arms fit right. So bear that in mind. So if you're on the busty side and you're like, oh, these tops never fit me, girl, I know. <laughs> but this should, you know, you should have some flexibility with this top. Now, this is like the idea of the concept behind this two piece is A1. However, I just feel like the manufacturers didn't really understand the assignment. The top part is really tight around the V. That's the area that I would have thought would be a little bit on the looser side. And then the bottom of it is really loose. So I have a strapless bra on underneath here. What happens is that this opens up so high. I'm like, did they not expect people to wear a bra? This opens up so high that, you know, you basically, I had to like start pulling it and tugging it just to make sure that it covered up the bottom of my bra. And I still have quite a bit of fabric left. Now I do like this sort of like sloping style that's happening here because then a little sliver of your skin shows. Okay y'all, so <laughs> I was looking for a fun party dress to share with you guys and I saw this one and it instantly caught my eye because I really liked the bustier slash sweetheart situation that was happening. It also had a mock neck so I was like okay at least we know the back is gonna be covered so it'll be a little bit on the warmer side etc etc. I did not understand this assignment. Like I don't know what I was thinking. This is a size 14. Let me preface that but I I typically can wear anywhere between a 12 to a size 20 on ASOS. It really depends on fabric and cut and fit. So I'm never really shied away from, you know, shopping the straight side and the plus side and I kind of go back and forth. If I'm interested in something, I'll try it, okay? Which is one of the things I always say, if you don't try, you'll never know. And some of my best pieces have been found in the non plus size section, okay? So that was the headspace I was, you know, when I saw this dress and I thought it was cute. This is what she's supposed to look like on me. 
I don't know if I'm missing something, but this little, I did not know there was gonna be like a little piece here, okay, that covers. So I don't know if this is supposed to go under, but it feels more like it's supposed to go to the side. There's like a little bit of side ruching on here that I did not see when I was looking at the dress online. It's like, you really gotta be peeping, okay? This is made out of like a ribbed, stretchy, knit style fabric, so I knew I would have some room with this dress, even though it was a size 14. And like I said, the biggest parts of my body are up top is my arms and they fit my arms. I would even say it fits my bust, but first it's too short. So that's one for me personally. But overall, it's really the fit here that is not doing it for me. I'm not sure what is going on here. It's obvious <laughs> this was definitely a miss, a fail, a misfire on my part. And I think it just has something to do with this. I don't know. This this side just feels and fits very different from this side. Let me know, <laughs> cause I promise I'm gonna share with you guys the good, the bad, and the ugly. I always get comments saying, oh my God, everything looks great on you, everything fits great. Y'all, just like you, I order stuff and it doesn't look great, it doesn't fit, but I make the choice not to let it affect my mood or how I feel about myself and my body overall. And I know this, that can be quite hard, especially if you're struggling with body image but honey just remember that clothes are designed to fit you not the other way around this doesn't work i don't think not the other way around so let me know in the comments below what you think about this one i'm gonna say this is a return but 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 you know sometimes i'm just like this is absolutely horrible and then i watch the film back and i'm just like okay that's not that bad and then you guys let me know in the comments like girl what are you talking about that's great so let me know what you think about this dress down below I was going to style her with my boots that you guys asked me about in my Walmart haul so let me pull them out for you right now all right so I got quite a few comments about these boots okay in the Walmart haul I'm gonna put the clip right here so many of you are asking me where I got these boots these are wide with snake skin boots so I got so many questions from you guys in my Walmart haul about these boots so I I figured I would just give y'all a quick review on them. They are a knee-high boot. Um, I like the fact that they have about a three inch heel or so. They also zip all the way from the top to the bottom, which is like a must have for me being a plus size girl because I do not have the bandwidth, I do not have the patience or the stamina to be doing gymnastics, trying to put on some boots. So this is something I always look for, boots that zip all the way from top to bottom. It's more a round or like an almond toe if you can see that and, and I feel like this is a very walkable style boot this is not real leather this is definitely faux let me confirm but I'm almost certain oh it doesn't even say in here no, it doesn't say what it is. But these lane boots are, I'm pretty sure they're full leather. And these things are wide calf friendly, baby. I think my circumference is about an 18 inch and they fit comfortably. You don't know how elated I am when I'm able to see a style that looks good, that's on trend and actually fits. And then I like that they have even additional stretch again. So if your calves are even wider, this would work for you as well. I'm wearing it here in a size 11W that is my true size there's good room in this so if you're looking to add some snakeskin boots to your collection I recommend this okay for so many reasons from the style to the fit to the heel height I'm gonna link this for you in the description box down below so the next item I picked up I feel like is a seasonal must-have in my opinion they are these oversized dad style shirts these are great pieces to add some layering to your outfit they add additional warmth. They also, in my opinion, kind of make your looks look a little bit more put together. If you're like on a Zoom meeting, working from home, I just love big shirts like this. And they also add like a slight layer of warmth. This one is made out of cotton-like fabric. I'm pretty sure it's close to 100% cotton if it's not. I love the pinstripes. It does have pockets. You know, it has cuffs and it is, has double buttons right here. And then, of course, it is like a men's, you know, style 
style shirt. It is a dad style shirt. I felt like the pinstripe just added something to it. I just have it paired with this sweetheart style tank top and then some leather joggers. You know, I would pair this outfit with leggings. I would pair this outfit with like a denim mini skirt, but the leather I feel like really helps to elevate the look and make it a little bit more polished. Like if you're working from home, you want to feel put together. This is the look, okay? So instead of like an oversized sweatshirt, you know, try doing a tank and an overshirt like this. It gives you a little bit of a business casual, but yet relaxed feel. If you want to save a little bit of money, just go to the thrift store and peruse the uh, men's section. I'm sure you will have endless options, but I just ordered this one and I also ordered a plain black one from H&M. Here is the plain black one that I ordered. Again, sometimes if I'm doing like blue jeans on the bottom, I just want a simple black, all black. If I'm doing leggings, you know, when I just don't want my outfits, when I want my outfits to look pulled together, but I also don't want them to look distracting, then that's when I would opt for the plain black. But if I was gonna wear like a leather jacket on top of this, probably not with leather joggers, maybe if I was wearing, you know, black denim, then I would choose this just because it'll add a little bit of contrast and break up all of the black. So let me know how you're feeling about the oversized dad. I feel like this is like shacket but for home because sometimes shackets can be a little too heavy and just too warm for indoors but something like this, it gives you the same vibes like the same way you would style a jacket, you could style this, but it's for home, you know? Then you look pulled together and you feel good when you, you know, catch a glint of yourself. <laughs> Let me know in the comments below your thoughts on the oversized shirt look. I don't want to call it a trend, but look, are you for it? Are you against it? Let me know. Oh, P.S. This tank top is also from H&M, but I've had it for a while. If it's still available, I'll link it, but I'm almost sure it's not, but I'll link it if it's still available. So I must have been in an oversized mood when I placed this order because I have another oversized blazer. So I typically go up to an extra, extra large for blazers when I'm shopping on H&M com don't do that for this one <laughs> this is so oversized and i feel like if i had gotten my extra large size it would have still fit my arms it would have been fine okay but the good thing about this is if i want to wear something tight and short etc etc this would be my go-to pick just because it'll help to balance out the two types of silhouettes i know there's so many festive things coming up so this would be a great piece to style with like a denim mini or like a, just a little black dress underneath and and some boots, I would opt for something like this because it kind of, you know, balances each other out. The dress is fitting and, you know, kind of sultry, sexy. The jacket is oversized. I love mixing different, I don't know if I want to say styles, I guess more aesthetics. That's something that I talked about in the video when I was talking about how to elevate your looks, juxtaposing something oversized and masculine with something, you know, sexy and slinky. So that's how I would probably style this blazer. The blazer has pockets. Yep, they are real functioning pockets, but they are stitched down. So you want to check on that, but they are stitched down. So all you have to do is just take the stitches out yourself. Lengthwise, it's a decent length. I'm 5'7". I feel like the length is right for what it is. Quality wise, I would give it an eight, even a nine out of 10. I loved this print because of all the colors. It had some browns, it had some blacks, it had some creams. So you can really have a lot of fun with this print and pair it with a lot of different things. And I I love that the brown is warm because a lot of times blazers like this tend to skew more gray. I actually have the same blazer in gray or a very similar blazer to this in, in like a gray tint. So if you're looking to add um, a blazer to your collection and you don't already have like a oversized men's wear style blazer, I will link this and if it's not available, some similar options for you down below because it's very, very much on trend if you care about trends for this season. So continuing on with my love for two-piece sets, I found this two-piece set. I feel like the color is being washed out a little bit with because of the lights, but it is a blush pink set. I love the simplicity of it. It's like a crop sweatshirt. So if you like your sweatshirts cropped, you will love this. And then it has a little embroidery in pink, same color pink that says smile. And it's just a fun, you know, little reminder not to take a 
life too seriously because I know it can get serious, okay? I really like the joggers have pockets. I don't know why some people make joggers without pockets. And then that it has drawstrings, which is such a pet peeve of mine. Like I need to be able to cinch this jogger to my waist, okay? So I need some drawstrings. It also cuffs at the bottom. I typically prefer for the cuff on top and the cuff on the bottom to match and they do with this set. So there is a slight difference with the trim on the jogger and the trim on the sweatshirt and that's because you technically they're not sold together. They are sold separately but you can combine them. It's obvious that they are, were made and mined for each other because they're the same color and I think in one of the photos the model was actually wearing the top so I knew that it was a jogger set and I just love these because they're convenient and when you need to get out the house and you want to look put together these things sets like this come in clutch so I am gonna actually be styling it with a blush pink moto jacket that I have and I was like is that overkill let me know down below if it's too much pink I'm not even that much of a pink person and I was gonna pair it with like my leather jacket that my regular black leather jacket but then I saw that they were like the same color I'm like okay we could do a little monochrome action here so let me know in the comments below if you would rather do the black biker or the pink biker as far as weight of this this is I would say is a mid to lightweight it's not very heavy so if you get easily overheated you will love this because it's not very heavy which means it's great for you to layer on top of and underneath I love jogger sets like this they're perfect for travel you get that comfort you get that cozy and if you throw on a smart coat you know like a double breasted camel style coat on top of this you're good to go and that's what I love about this color it's not our typical black and beige and you know tan it's a blush but blush and in my opinion is almost like a neutral. When I'm not on these YouTube streets, you can always find me on Instagram where I share daily-ish fashion and lifestyle inspo. Also, if you have a quick question, maybe you're about to check out, you can always slide in my DMs over there. I try to respond in real time. If for some reason I forgot to link something that I featured in this video, all you have to do is click the shop my outfits link and it'll take you to the Like to Know app where I link 99.9% .9 of my featured items. If you enjoyed this video and want more videos just like this, all you have to do is subscribe now. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, stay blessed. Wait, 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 don't go anywhere. Check out this video. And this video, I'm sure you'll love it.